Uh, this is MXKDI here. I have uh, another Dell Optiplex 390 uh, mini tower, and I'm going to be the tear down. It's going to replay, remove the power supply, motherboard, hard drive, DVD burner right there, front panel, the cover right there. It's a bit of the cold view to tear down. So, first thing I'm going to do is remove the front panel right there. See the plastic right here by the secure clips right here? So, we're going to get that removed. And it comes right out. And it's, here's the front panel here, 390 Optiplex, okay. Now, trying to press this down right here, the little secure clip for the DVD burner, and disconnect the SATA cable, power cable from it, and the DVD burner comes right out. Comes right out. Now that's gonna go, I'm gonna do the back side. Doing the power supply, you gotta get a Phillips screwdriver, make sure you guys get a latex gloves and a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead. Okay, so you're gonna remove the four screws here, one, two, and then one here, one, two, and four. So total four screws right here in the back. Okay, we're gonna turn it over. You're gonna disconnect the four pin right there. It's got a secure cl like a clip right here. You just press it down very gently and remove it. Four pin for the power. And uh, remove the 24 pin. I'm gonna try to move, I can't see the video. Okay. And disconnect the 24 pin power right there. Remove that and uh, now we're gonna disconnect. Uh, try to disconnect the uh, hard drive cable that's going to the to the power supply. It's right there. So disconnect that SATA power. Disconnect the SATA cable and connector. Okay, we're gonna take out the hard drive caddy now. Disconnect the hard drive too. Same time, plastic hard drive caddy. Now we're gonna remove the mud, the power supply. There's a secure clip on the top right here. Can you see that what I'm pointing at right there? You gotta press it down with a screwdriver. Release the power supply, secure lock. Right there. And the power supply comes right out. So I just, so we just removed the power supply. Here. Now I'm gonna remove the motherboard and it's using the one, two, three, four, five, six. Look like a six screws here. So let me give you a Phillips screwdriver. Get that removed. So this is one, there's gonna be two screws on the top right there. And one over here on the left. And one here, right here, there's another one here in the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna try to move the motherboard closer. Okay, now, there's another screw right there, gonna get that removed here. So it's using the uh, one, two, three. Okay, let me count how many screws there are. Total six screws it's using the motherboard. Let's get that removed. Now you're gonna, on the bottom right there, there's gonna be front panel you're gonna disconnect. Not the front panel, it's gonna be the USB ports and the SATA connector, or SATA con disconnect the power cable, the, the SATA cable. Connect the cable cone to the hard, uh, hard drive and DVD burner to get that disconnected. And the front panel is going to be in the top right there. Get that disconnected right there. And disconnect the rear system fan 
the three pin right here, get that disconnected. And we're gonna remove the front panel right there in the top right corner. Get that removed. The bottom disconnect the SATA cable. Let's go into the hard drive DVD burner. And the front, uh, the USB port on the front for the audio and the USB is gonna be on the bottom hand right. Get that disconnected. And the internal speaker connector, get that disconnected. There's gonna be a USB in the bottom right there too. USB kind of header connector, get that disconnected. And the audio kind of header right here, get that disconnected too. So now, I'm gonna remove the motherboard. So the motherboard is removed, and here's uh, using six screws actually. And if you want to get the, I'm gonna remove the using Phillips screwdriver, remove the heatsink fan. One, two, three, four. Get that removed. Okay. Try to turn over to this side. Make sure you guys wear latex gloves. I recommend unless you want to get cut. You can get them any hardware store. They sell them at the, any grocery store or at the pharmacy. Latex gloves, it doesn't matter what color they are. Get that, that one is screwed. So yeah, I just remove the heat sink fan and remove uh, the power oil and move the heat, the, the processor here, right here. It's a socket 1155 Intel. Right here, there's a little clip right here. Just press it down gently and move it to the right with your finger and it, and it opens up automatically. So I'm gonna take the process, the CPU, and you can just remove it really gentle. And so I have five, get that removed. Now I'm gonna remove the memory too. This is a teardown video. And if you remove the battery socket, you need a flathead screwdriver. And it should come right out. Let me show you. Press it down with the flathead, like there's a little secure clip right there. Just press it down, it comes right out, the battery. Battery socket. If you want to replace it, you can replace it. It's a CR2000. The battery is CR 2032. So we just removed the battery right here, the battery socket. Okay, and now here's the motherboard. So we got the motherboard off, removed. Now there's a rear fan here, 92 millimeter, and get that removed. I'm turning it over here so you guys can see. It's not using any screws, it's hold by the like a this little, little it's hold by the secure like a rubber. Looks like it's uh yeah, it looks like it's secure like by the rubber screws here. So the way you remove it is pretty easy. You just the reason why they did it because it runs a lot quieter if you have the rubber still using rubber instead of the screws. So just remove the fan 92 millimeter. So three wire, three pin connection to the motherboard. Okay. And what else can we remove? So that's about it. That's the, you can remove the IO shield, the back plate right here. You can get that removed if you want to. So I'm gonna remove that. Just take the screwdriver and I just tap a little bit and it comes right out. Here's the IO shield back plate for the motherboard. Okay, got that removed now. 
There's a PCI brackets right here, three of them. You can get that removed too if you want. So there's a secure lock right here. Just uh, you press it down and it opens up the secure lock here and just remove the PCI brackets. Oh, I gotta move the camera a little bit. Oh, let me try to adjust the camera. Camera's not adjusted. Oh, shoot. Let me get the camera quickly. Sorry about that. I oh, get the camera adjusted. So, remove the PCI brackets. Right there. Now, there's another one front panel right here for the audio and USB ports. You get a Phillips screwdriver and get that removed if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay. And you just click it to the left side and it comes right out. And so yeah guys, this is uh, the whole this is the video for the Dell Optiplex 390 teardown Optiplex the mini tower. So just remove the this is the for the front panel audio and USB ports. If you want to get the remove, you just hold by the one screw. So this is the teardown guys for Dell Optiplex uh, 390 mini tower. This is MXKDI here. Thanks for watching.